Aloha, I'm Sean Colipony, and in this video, we're eating at two buffets. We'll first start with the more affordable one. Here we are, the McCully Buffet, seasoned ribeye. I'm gonna eat a lot and get my $40 worth. This is the poke, this is what I'm here for. Check it out, poke, sushi, and sashimi. The dinner buffet here costs twice as much as the McCully Buffet, but the question is, would it be twice as fun? Would there be twice more selection? I can't wait to eat and show you guys all this food. Drum roll, please. Are you ready? Because my stomach is. Let's go. But before we go, can you hit that like and subscribe button? Kind of helps me out. Okay, we can go for real now. Want some? I just ate. So? You're always hungry. Oh, we should go to a buffet then. I don't know why I never thought about that. Bam! Here we are at the McCully Buffet. It's a 10 minute drive from Waikiki, lots of parking and some good Japanese and Korean cuisine for affordable price. Let's go check it out. Pretty darn good. So right when you walk into the right, they have some kalbi, ahi, they have bentos, they do catering. That is a lot of Ono grinds over there. But I'm here for the buffet. They have sushi, sashimi, and unlimited poke. I think that's crazy because poke is quite expensive here in Hawaii, and to have a limited amount. Ooh, and we're gonna take a look at the buffet, what they have right now. They have some of the salads here. Ooh, they have the kimchi here, squid, tofu, mac salad, and all the meats. Ooh. Seasoned ribeye, steak, beef rib fingers. I'm gonna eat a lot and get my $40 worth. Don't take too much. Leftover food cannot be taken away, you would have to pay a fine. What? Don't take too much. Well, I'm gonna take as much as I can eat. I am gonna eat a whole bunch. And let's go take a look around the corner. Fried rice, glass noodles, and salmon. The steamed mussels, the house fried chicken, baked barbecue pork belly, barbecue pork belly, Sally sewed seashells by the seashore. That's a mouthful to say, and it looks like it'll be a mouthful right in my belly. Steamed short rib. Oh, this is the poke. This is what I'm here for. Check it out. Poke, sushi, and sashimi. I gotta say, this is a good selection. I'm gonna eat up. I like how they have the sign that says don't take too much because it is some fine food here. And a tiny spot with fried food and tempura, spicy beef soup, seaweed soup. Oh, tip for round one, get all the expensive food first, okay? That's the tip from the Hawaiian traveler. I'm Polynesian and Polynesian, I don't think we go for salads when there's buffets. But if you do, let me know, because I don't know any. This is the raw meat first, but we're gonna have to cook this at our table. Barbecue pork that's marinated. Awesome. Bulgogi marinated sliced ribeye. Beef rib fingers. And the seasoned ribeye. We need to put this on the table first because it's raw meat. Let's go back. And of course, I need a little bit of side dishes for the meat. I just put the meat on the grill. You get the raw meat from the buffet, but you grill it yourself. That's part of the fun. This already smells so good. The meat looks so tender, and this thing smells so good. I can smell the spices, and there's a lot of fat that's coming out of the meat. And the fatty part is my favorite part. Do you see my chef skills over here? They shouldn't call me Hawaiian traveler. They should call me Chef Sean. This looks ridiculously good and I'm salivating. Turning off the grill, and it's time to eat. 
tabimasho. I want to eat this meat all by itself. This piece looks so juicy and steamy right now. Mm. That was nice and chewy. I wish there was a camera in my mouth because with each bite, I felt like the juice was squirting right in my mouth to the back of my throat. And there's a lot of glaze around the barbecue, which is typical of Korean meat. And that's what makes it sweet. Almost like a candy version of barbecue. Now let's wrap this and eat it the right way. Kimchi, meat, lettuce dipped in the sauce, all going in my mouth. That kimchi was spicy, not too spicy. It was fresh, everything balanced as well. It's about wrapping it in the meat with the lettuce, dipping into the sauce, and combining it all in your mouth. The sauces are good, very delicious, and I want to let you guys know it's round two. While I'm waiting for the meats to be grilled, I'm just gonna grab some poke right now. Oh, and this looks pretty good too, so I might as well just grab it right now. The house fried chicken, wow. Oh, that is a lot of seasoning on here. You're going right in my belly. You're going onto my plate. And speaking of belly, <laughs> I'm gonna have some big barbecue pork belly right here. We're gonna have some of this too. And this looks so sweet. Look at all that sauce. And now what I'm here for is for the poke. Look at this. This looks so good. I'm gonna get some spicy poke. Look at this. Let's go back. I was in poke heaven just now, that's why. And I want to let you guys know, it's round two. I have this house chicken. All the seasoning here on top. And I'm wondering what this tastes like. Ready? Go. That was okay. It looked better than it tasted. What did look really good and sweet was that barbecue pork belly. My heart will hurt if this doesn't taste good. Three, two, one. Not the most tender piece of meat I had, but it did the job. They say it's good quality for a good price, and that's what you can expect. Poke is only getting more expensive here in Hawaii. And the fact that they have it unlimited here at the buffet is a treat. Why it's expensive in Hawaii? Because it's in high demand, and the fish here in Hawaii is fresh, straight from the ocean. And it's one of the few things that's actually nutritious and tastes good. Silky, chewy, just the way how I like my poke. This is the spicy poke. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, and this is drenched in the sauce. That is spicy. I tasted nothing at first, then when I kept chewing, the spices started to kick in, and now my breath is on fire. There's a two second, de there's a two second delay after you eat it. <laughs> We're just getting started. Round three. Hello. Thank you, you guys are so nice here. Thank you, thank you. The Korean barbecue right here was the most juiciest. Salmon. That piece of salmon almost looks like duck. Steamed short rib, I haven't had it, so I gotta try it. And I got some sushi and sashimi too. Now we're gonna have some sashimi and it's more expensive than poke. It is thin, fine slices of raw fish. And this is where the Japanese cuisine comes in because here is a mixture of Korean and Japanese cuisine. This plate alone is worth the buffet price for dinner. This is so soft, fresh, high quality. In fact, that's all you can eat with the sauces. What a treat. I started to get full eating all that sushi. Now to the short ribs. These ribs are sweet, tender, and they're so easy to chew. This thing went right down my throat and I was worried that maybe uh, I might choke on it, but no, it went straight down. The salmon is oily, nicely marinated, and good. It's not my favorite, but it's good for me. I have a confession. I'm not gonna make it to round four. I'm getting full, and I'm a wuss. But my wife, E, is gonna take over with the seafood. Here's the real star of the show. 
Now let's eat some real food, which is seafood. I kept looking at the mussels, so I need some of this right now. Ni grabbed some octopus, squid, more poke, sashimi, and tempura. It looks so good. It's a little bit more on the drier side. Drier drier side. side. It's not like super juicy like I'm used to. Maybe this will make up for it. Let's try. There's so much taste in here and it's spicy. I like how it's super chewy. Really strong flavor. Different, unique. Not a lot of fried food up there. I'm glad that I found some fried tempura. The salmon sashimi is my favorite up there. I think I can come here just for that. And the sushi, all the seafood has been really good. Uh, minus the mussels. It's gonna be around five for you guys. A few moments later. We made sure to grab some of the last meats, the pork we haven't tried yet, some shrimp. And just to say that we tried everything in this buffet. And I think we got our money's worth too. Oh, for sure. We ate so much here. I'm not gonna say it's the best, but as far as having good food for a good price, $40 is not cheap, but it's a good price in Hawaii considering things are more expensive here. And to have that limitless amount, I mean, come on. Where else are you gonna get unlimited poke with all this Korean barbecue, seafood? We have one more place to go to. This smells so good. I wish I wasn't allergic to seafood. I walked out of Makali full and happy, and the manager was nice enough to give us a 10% discount. Now, off to a more upscale buffet. We are here at the Prince Waikiki Hotel, and we're gonna eat at the dinner buffet at the 100 Sales. It is located right between the Hilton Hawaiian Village and the Alamoana Beach Park. The dinner buffet here costs twice as much as the Makali buffet, but the question is, would it be twice as fun? Would there be twice more selection? You'll find out with me right when we go inside. Oh, pretty nice. Cool. I got a cute date tonight. I'm about to meet her in about a minute or so. I'll introduce you. It's not a good uh, joke because you already saw my wife in the earlier buffet and all the other videos. <laughs> so <laughs> let's go meet her up. So here's the wifey. Hi. We're a little bit more dressed up today because we are eating at a little bit more fancy place. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, no, uh, we have reservations for the uh, the dinner buffet tonight for two. Nice. Welcome, welcome. Yes. And your name, please. Uh, Sean Collipony. Friendly service. I'm digging the vibes already. Look at you. Look at this. I look good, but not when I'm next to this person who looks gooder. There's a two hour time limit, and uh, keep that in mind. This is a fine area. The place is beautiful, more upscale. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the view, and if you're lucky, like us, it is 5.43 p.m. and we're catching the sunset right now. Hey, we deserve this sometimes, you know? Like, once in a good while is good to go get a lot of food and have this beautiful view. We're hoping the food is amazing. Let's go check it out. Here we are at the salad area, and this is some fine dining salad. We got the salmon salad, the spicy fried tofu salad, the pasta with imitation crab, pasta with imitation crab salad. I didn't even know that existed. Tomato mozzarella, kimchi, and some tofu, of course, but I don't come to dinner buffets to eat salads. I come to dinner buffets to get all my money's worth. So we're gonna go for the meats and the seafood. Let's go. Oh, so we have the calamari, the salt and pepper shrimp, the sweet chili aioli for the sauce and the tartar, and the fried oysters here. Wow, so they have a lot of fried seafood. The dinner rolls, which, ha, ah, I could pass on that because I could eat that anywhere else, but this is the catch of the day. The whole farm tomato sea asparagus with butter sauce. Woo! Chicken. Ah, chicken looks pretty good, but I could pass on that. Mashed potatoes, vegetables, but I'm not here for vegetables or rice because I could eat vegetables or rice at home. I mean, 
we're here to get our money's worth. So we're gonna go for the things that are expensive. Oh, but that's cute, the fruit salads. I don't need to explain this to you guys, but it is. You obviously know what these fruits are. Ooh, and this, the sushi area too. And the sashimi, the sashimi looks very nice. Sashimi poke, shrimp. I gotta say the sashimi was really good at the Makali buffet. And we're gonna have to get some and do some comparisons. But this looks fresh. It looks almost alive. Like it's ready to pop up and do this because it's still living. That's how fresh it looks with the poke. If you've seen recent videos from the past, I love sweets. Shave ice in particular, but sweets period and this is what they have which they didn't have at the Makali buffet it was uh, a dessert section which i'm gonna have later at the very end chocolate macadamia nut pie look how much i like you guys i'm so hungry right now and i wanted to eat it but i'm just explaining to you guys what the food is right here but i can't wait to eat and show you guys all this food drum roll please this smells so good. I wish I wasn't allergic to seafood. But Nee's gonna enjoy this. I'll live vicariously through her. <laughs> and the clam chowder. Oh, I can smell it. And everybody is eating the crab legs here because it's so popular. Because there is a line and there is a two hour limit. So mind you that we have to go quick when we're here. <laughs> okay, let's go. Maybe we have a slow roasted prime rib, please. And maybe we have the porchetta. And they have an area where you can make your own sushi. Sashimi. Ahi poke. Ooh. Yeah, I've never had spicy fried tofu salad, so I might as well try that. We both got a plate. Now, let's eat. We had to move because it was a little noisy in the area. There's live music and lots of people. First off, I just want to let you know it is crazy busy here. Check this out. We're gonna have a bite of the porchetta pork belly, okay? Take a look. And if you guys don't know what porchetta is, it's roasted pork belly and it looks super crispy and I can't wait to indulge. That skin is so crispy and fattening, and the meat is juicy and tender and chewy. This skin part is nice, thick, bubbly, and so good. The skin is the best part, just, just to let you know. Yeah. Whoa, look at this part. I think I got the best part because I got the ending part. See, if this was our first date, I wouldn't ask her this, but. Uh, would you like Yes, yes I would because that thing is screaming to eat me. <laughs> That's what life's about. It's about eating porchetta. And it's also about eating prime rib too. And we're gonna have that right now. Check out this prime rib, how it is glowing. Oh my. Let's go. That almost like melted in my mouth. It was so soft, it melted in my mouth. It was so fattening. Oh my god. That's why I'm gonna come later. And that prime rib line is looking pretty darn long. Check it out. Tip, if possible, try asking me seated right near the prime rib area. Take a look at the sashimi. It looks nice, fresh. Well, not that nice because it's been surrounded by all the other food, but you saw it in the line. And this looks alive oops i'll try the sashimi right now wow that was thick tasty i noticed that the food we've eaten here so far nothing is hard it's just everything is cut smooth everything i eat is fresh and the sashimi is more upscale when you eat it here and this is how the fried oyster looks like inside it is fresh that's a lot of oyster taste. It tastes like a bit of the ocean. And they have a catch of the day. Looks like normal fish. Doesn't look like anything special, but let's see if it tastes special. 
I'm on the drier side, but still more on the fresh side though. Moving on to the spicy poke. That is some fresh spicy poke that has my mouth a little bit on fire right now. This poke <laughs> is twice as soft as the one we had the other day from the other buffet. This is what I'm talking about. Unlimited poke. And I'm gonna try some of the spicy tofu. I'm not a tofu guy, but it's pretty good. Do I plan on being excited about eating tofu? No, not really. Is it more upscale with the spiciness? Yes. And I have the sushi here. I'm gonna have you a bite. She was quite fresh, and I think I I forgot that my wife was here. D, e, take it away. All fried seafood was amazing, but how does the crab legs taste? Look at this! Oh my! Everyone are coming here for these! They're super expensive here in Hawaii. They look super delicious. I want to have a bite now. I'm trying to squeeze out all the meat from the crab legs. The crab legs is so soft! Oh, it's really good! One of my favorite things to do when I eat crabs to suck out all the juices. Mm. This piece has more crab meat. The pieces of shrimp are so big. I love it. The clam chowder. I think it's so creamy that it took away all the clam because I don't taste much of the seafood here anymore. So this is a seafood place and I can't eat seafood but I'm happy with just eating this and the prime rib with the poke and sashimi. Pretty soon when we're done with our meals we're gonna have some dessert. And chocolate macadamia nut pie. So we got our desserts as you can see. This is what the McCully Buffet didn't have. I mean, they had jello, but it's not dessert. But this is. I think we should start off slow to try the cream puff. One, two, three. Not my favorite. Maybe because I'm spoiled because we had so many great cream puffs throughout the island. This mango roll. I think I have higher hope for this. You wanna try? <laughs> Let's do it. That was nice and squishy. You can taste the mango. Now we're gonna try the eggnog. Look at this. So, so good. It is like eggnog heaven with sugar. That's extra creamy, silky. And the next one we have is a chocolate macadamia nut pie. Rich, nutty, crunchy, soft, chocolate, academia nut pie. <laughs> and we got one more. We put all that sauce on that bread pudding. Ready? This didn't taste as good as it looked. But that eggnog brulee and that macadamia nut chocolate pie was some of the best I've ever had. We are full and we ate quite a bit. Okay, let's see the fireworks show because they have it going on in 15 minutes at the Hilton Hawaiian Lagoon Hotel. So let's go check it out. Thank you. Thank you. Mahalo again. What's up, sir? What's your name, bro? Brother Ellison over here. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Final thoughts that, is this place worth the $85? Yes it is. Was it twice as good as McCully Buffet? Uh, McCully Buffet is more of a local style. You could go there monthly. And over here is like a seasonal thing where once in a while on a special occasion. Enough of me talking, I would recommend going to both buffets for what you get for the price. At the McCully, a 15% gratuity tip will be added to your bill. And there's a credit card fee. At 100 sales, 
The tip is not mandatory, but of course I had to leave a tip. Hotel parking is free with validation. And I should stop talking because there's a fireworks show that's gonna go on in 15 minutes. Let's go check it out. There's a two hour time limit for both places. The fireworks at the Hilton Hawaiian Village Lagoon is only a short walk away. We're gonna end the night here watching the fireworks show at the Hilton. It happens every Friday night at around 7.45 p.m. What a great way to end the night eating at the buffet. We wanna thank everyone for sticking around to the end and let's enjoy the fireworks show. But make sure to like and subscribe too, okay? All right, now let's enjoy.